today we debuted permafrost as well as the black sky rigs on every single rig in infinite warfare and to finish up today's videos as a third video we're gonna be debuting and taking a look at one of the brand new infinite warfare dlc three maps that being called four and this one i think is fantastic and i think you guys will enjoy it as well as once you come to get the hang of it definitely find it to be one that is a ton of fun to play but before we get too far into it a huge thank you and shout out to not only infinity ward and activision for the hospitality flying me out to la and bringing me out to the studio to record this early footage here for you guys but also a huge thank you to all you guys who make all of this possible by supporting my videos and everything that i try to do here on the channel so truly without you guys none of this would be at all remotely possible so thank you guys so much for the support on everything hopefully you guys are looking forward to dlc 3 but let's jump right into a little bit of a breakdown and then the raw unedited footage of 4. so firstly i love the idea of this map you'll see by the gameplay that this is basically just a mini golf course but it also has a lot of added thematic extras such as concessions and things alike but the feel of the map i think is super cool i think the idea and setting of it is definitely very awesome yes it's a little bit more whimsical of one and something that maybe some people may not be too fond of if they want that more so realism of the maps and everything like that but for the purpose and design of it i think it looks absolutely fantastic and it plays rather well as well that said gameplay wise it's pretty solid at first it can be a little bit tricky there's so many different lanes, multiple different levels, things like that, that sometimes it might take a little bit of time to get the feel for how the flow of the map works, how different spawns will work, how different rotations of things will work, all that kind of stuff, but it definitely can be learned quickly to predict the movement and everything like that, and of course, in doing so, you'll be way better off for your gameplay experience. So, if you play this a couple of times and really just try and pay attention to different locations, exits, entrances, lanes, all that kind of stuff, you'll probably be able to pick this up in about two to three matches on the map. So, something that once again, you can definitely learn quickly here on this, and as such, it'll definitely help out with your gameplay experience. As for the best approach to this map and how the gameplay in different modes works out, well, I think that this is something that it will evenly distribute a lot of different playstyles depending on the mode you're playing. For example, we played Defender, which really worked out quite well. You could definitely predict a lot of the movement here with that, and of course, with everybody trying to go for the ball at the very beginning and whatever it reset, it definitely made it a little bit more predictable. As well, we played a little bit of Search and Destroy, and that's something that you gotta be a little bit more passive in some aspects and thus does create a little bit more of a slower play style and the map is a little bit bigger so it does kind of force your hand a little bit to maybe play a little bit differently as well but overall I think it's one that no matter the game type that you end up playing it's one that you can experiment around with multiple different play styles such as your short game with SMGs and shotguns you can play the long game as well but with a little bit more get up in terms of using assault rifles to pick off players at a little bit more distance but still be in the game a little bit then you can also play from the rough with a sniper on the outside of the longer lanes to stay out of the action but also in it if that makes sense and again depending on the mode you might be able to pull out some aces as well but all that said and out of the way it's definitely a map that i think a lot of people will enjoy it might take a little bit of time to get used to in terms of everything but of course that goes without saying for almost every dlc map that we ever get so hopefully you guys enjoy just want to give you guys a little bit of a brief rundown and then let you guys see from here the rest of the raw unedited footage that i think you guys will enjoy as well so hopefully you guys do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below what do you think of this compared to what we've seen already in terms of permafrost do you like one or the other better and if so which one is it and of course if you guys enjoyed the video as well make sure you drop a like down below and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding infinite warfare dlc 3 we got more maps as well as zombies coming throughout the rest of the upcoming days for the next week and if you guys are interested in also in black ops 3 both multiplayer and zombies with the zombies chronicles modern warfare master call of duty world war 2 both multiplayer and zombies there as well make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with all that kind of stuff and finally if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter. That's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to share up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But one final thing, once again, I know I said finally already, but huge thank you once again to Infinity Ward and Activision for flying me out to LA, bringing me out to the studio and allowing me to capture this footage here for you guys to showcase early. And once again, a huge thank you to you guys as well for supporting this and making all this possible. So thank you dudes so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comments of what you think of these gameplays, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. We broke the drop. Enemy. The enemy launched a counter UAV. Enemy contact. Enemy UAV. Drone will reset in soon. Enemy UAV in your position. We dropped the drone. Drone is resetting. Ready up. The enemy has 
Contact the drone. Vulture on the field. 